The temperature there ranges from a comfortable 16 to 17 degrees Celsius with only very modest swings. 2009 marked the year that saw the discovery of the moon's first wells. Since that time, researchers have pondered the possibility that they lead to underground caverns that are suitable for use as bases of operations for lunar settlers or astronauts. In these caves, they are protected from a variety of dangers, including cosmic rays, solar radiation, and microscopic meteorites, among other things. The question that needs to be answered immediately is simply this. Is the temperature there likewise somewhat bearable? A recent study offers encouraging findings. The lunar orb, a harsh and unfriendly environment can be found on the moon. Temperatures there reach a sweltering 127 degrees Celsius during the day, while falling to negative 170 degrees Celsius during the night. Not only does it receive a barrage of damaging radiation, but daytime highs reach that extreme. This is due to the fact that the surface is illuminated by sunlight during a Monday, which typically lasts for around 15 days on Earth. This results in the temperature increasing to such a high level that it starts to boil water. When the sun goes down during the moon night, which also lasts for 15 days on Earth, the temperature lowers to well below freezing. This continues until the moon rises again. Therefore, if we wish to visit the moon, we'll have to look for locations on the moon where the weather is a little bit more agreeable and it's possible that we'll discover safety in the lunar wells. Although this architecture seems to imply that lunar wells and caverns are appropriate places for protection, the question arises as to what the temperature conditions are like in these locations. Therefore, in order to determine whether or not the temperature in the lunar wells is different from the temperature on the surface of the moon, researchers pored over the measurement data that was obtained with the thermal camera Diviner on board NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, Mare Tranquillitatis. The crew concentrated its efforts on a lunar well that is roughly 100 meters deep and is about the size of a soccer field. On the moon, the well can be found in an area that is referred to as Mare Tranquillitatis. After that, the researchers examined the rock and moon dust that were already present in the area to determine the average temperature of the crater. What exactly does it illustrate? The findings give reason for considerable optimism. For instance, the findings indicate that the temperature in the areas of the pit that are permanently shaded experienced very little variation over the course of a Monday, remaining consistently in the pleasant range of 17 degrees Celsius. Cave. It looks good thus far. If the photographs are to be believed, this well is in fact connected to an underground cave. And if that's the case, the temperature within the cave should most likely be rather comfortable as well. The researchers had a hunch that the overhanging shade is to blame for the consistent temperature. Not only does the shade prevent the mercury from climbing to dangerously high levels during the weekdays, but it also prevents an excessive amount of heat from escaping during the night. Therefore, it would appear that caves and wells on the moon would make suitable homes for any future inhabitants of the moon. It is potentially likely that these subsurface networks will be the first safe living habitats for humans on another celestial world. Alternatively stated, according to scholar David Page, people used to make their homes in caves in the past, and if we do end up settling on the moon, it's entirely likely that we'll end up living in caves once more. Thanks for watching this video to the end. Let us know in the comments what you think about these strange, warm holes in the moon. Did you find this video interesting? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more. We have another interesting video ready for you. Click on it and we'll take you on the next space adventure. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.